Well, with less than two weeks left before the Minnesota fishing opener, reporter Charlie Yeager stopped by Whitefish Lake to see how the walleye were doing. Well, he saw some large fish, but he also found the Minnesota DNR harvesting walleye eggs and decided to find out more for this week's Northwoods experience. Spring is in the air. And that means spawning season for walleye, which means harvest season for the Minnesota DNR. Typically, we're monitoring the water temperature up at the Pine River. Once it hits about 40 degrees and it comes down and the ice melts off the river, that's when we set the trap and start fishing it. They start by separating the male and female walleye caught in the trap. Then they begin harvesting eggs. We'll add the eggs into a bowl, and then we'll add the milt from the, the males into that bowl, mix them together, add a little bit of water, and then some bentonite clay, and that prevents those eggs from clumping together and allows them to hatch at a much higher success rate in the hatchery itself. Before leaving the river, the eggs are cleaned. We have somebody with a fine mesh basket, essentially, that's washing that clay off of the eggs, adding them into a cooler, where they'll sit for a couple of hours to harden and swell up to about double the size of when we originally took them from the walleye. The eggs are taken from the fishery in Pine River and brought here to the hatchery in Brainerd. We'll have upwards of 65 million eggs in the hatchery here jarred up and put on these batteries and they'll sit in here for about three weeks. The eggs turn from kind of that yellowish color to more of a grayish color before they hatch. Once hatched, the baby walleye, known as fry, will swim to the top of the jar to get air. When they do that, they get carried through the pipe at the top into this series of troughs here and through the plumbing in this building into these uh, raceways that you see behind me and they'll get sucked out into some of our area lakes and lakes throughout the region for that matter. Which is vitally important for the environment. The walleyes are a top predator, so in order to keep an ecosystem balanced, we need to kind of manage so that we have the appropriate or adequate number of top predators and forage species in any given lake. Walleye is the most sought after species in the state. Every Minnesotan loves to target walleye. So by supplementing with some of the fry that we are using here in the hatchery or collecting here in the hatchery, that essentially creates a, a better opportunity for anglers to catch a few more walleye throughout the season. Reporting in the Brainerd Lakes area for this week's Northwoods Experience, Charlie Yeager, Lakeland News. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.